Wisconsin Public Transit recently released an audit showing ridership throughout the state is continuing to plunge. Despite federal relief funds, the future for local transit systems is hanging in the balance. Local 5's Faith Alford is live in Appleton with the latest from Valley Transit. Hi, Good morning, Shelly and Caitlin. Valley Transit has been a very busy morning. The buses just left off for their stops for the morning, and I'm joined today by Ron and Sarah. How are you all? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Good. Now we have to talk about this last mile, first mile. A lot of people want to get on the bus line, but they possibly maybe aren't around in, on the bus line they're, where they're located isn't. So how is first mile, last mile helping with that? First mile, last mile is actually one of the areas I concentrate on the most because it is a question of how do I get to the bus line or how do I get from the bus line to be able to get to work or from home. So it is uh, right now, actually, we're starting to see bikes increase as being that first mile, last mile solution. But we also have other ancillary services that we would try to bridge that gap. So nobody has uh, uh, any reason not to benefit from the services of Valley Transit. Yes, and Ron, how important has it been for you to be able to implement these policies to include everyone? Well, you know, that, that's what transit does. Um, you know, we're about providing equitable transportation mm -hmm. throughout the Fox Cities. Connecting the Fox Cities is our tagline, and that's really what it's all about. We connect the Fox Cities, and it doesn't matter where you live or where you're traveling to, we try and get you to or from those points. So, you know, the, the ancillary services, one of the services that we operate is our connector service. And that's a micro transit system that Valley Trans has been operating. We're actually, we're just entering into our 15th year of service. So this is a concept that some others have just started implementing. And, and we've been doing this for over 15 years in the Fox City. So we're pretty proud of it. And that particular service, uh, over 92% of it is employment-related transportation. Yes, and for both of you, now there has been, there's been a lot of changes. We were, we were looking online and seeing, watching the buses come online. How important has it been for you, both of you finding strategies to make things more accessible for riders? It's what we do. Uh, in order for our community to get where they need to go, we need to eliminate any barriers, identify solutions, bridge any gaps, and make our services as accessible as possible. So we're really proud of the fact that we have been proactive and we're continually looking for ways that we can serve our community. Yes. Yes, and uh, you know, I just mentioned you uh, brought up our app. People can download an app, and just go to their Play Store or whatever on their uh, smartphones, download the transit app, and you'll be able to see where our buses are running. It's live, and you can tell uh, when the bus is going to get to your bus stop. It's very helpful. Yes, thank you. Lots of helpful information, and thank you both for joining us this morning. It has been lots of details, so if you are looking for that help to get where you're going, Valley Transit is help to, here to offer assistance. Live in Appleton, Faith Alford, local. Good morning.